it's best oh Steelers here and welcome back to another video and today i'm doing some creative building slash building tutorial sorry i just hit the mic against my face i'm sorry that made a weird noise but today i am going to be showing you how to make this sort of a um connected bridge with houses on top of the trees in a jungle forest First, I'm going to show you what I made, and then I'm going to show you how to make it yourself. So basically, each of these little individual things are unique in their own way. I made a bridge and added lanterns to the side and clearly vines on it to give it more of a the jungly feel. And each of them are different. They're not all the same, as you can tell. They all have the similar structure. Also, I did the houses like that and has no roofs because I think it kind of looks like tree stumps. And I kind of like it like that. So basically, what you're going to need, we're going to go from like, I don't want to go like a really far distance. But you're going to need some acacia slabs and then acacia fencing. If I... You know what, we're not going to be scrolling through the entire thing because we don't have time for that. This this video is already going to be much longer than normal. So these trees, I normally will start off by going up here on the very edge of the tree and just creating like a little platform. It's four blocks wide and that's what I do. And we're heading over to this tree right here. I'm going to create the same little platform and kind of edge of this one out a couple more blocks so I can tell where I'm trying to go so as you can see it's not really even but it's more leveled which makes it easier so you make this go out a couple blocks because you don't want a super rapid change I'm going out like three blocks and then I'm gonna just shift it right here and then keep it for a couple blocks and then move it until I get it aligned with how I want it to be. And you can also do like move it a couple blocks this way and have it be a less rapid change. I'm trying to see how am I supposed to line this up? Let me see here. Right here, just, it's looking like one more. You, I always wanna keep it at a four base platform. And, and there you go. And what's great about this bridge right here is that you don't have to worry about going down all the things. But remember, when you go down, you don't want to do it all at once. You want to do it gradually. Also, you got to kind of focus on what it's going to look like. Because sometimes you want to just bump it out a little bit to have a wider path when you're... um when you're transitioning because sometimes if you want a two block path by all means make a two block path but it will it will be a one block path if you go inwards with the fences like instead of doing what I'm doing and placing an extra block and you just place it there and go in then it'll be a one block path and I don't know I like two block paths personally cuz it's just more room and more room to walk is has never been something anyone complained about, you know? And this path, you also have to go outward, unless it will just be one block, as you can see. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly, and I'm also trying really hard not to fall off, as you can tell, because I am very, very prone to falling off of things. Okay, hello. I pressed the wrong button. Because I don't clearly don't know where the buttons are on my keyboard obviously have no clue if I was just better with scrolling with my mouse you know how great that would be and I wouldn't have to press like the numbers and stuff but yeah so you just need to finish up the bridge by putting the stuff on the outside and bam there you go so the bridge is pretty much complete at this point but I want to show you the important stuff. So you would need acacia stairs. And you're going to take it. Cause, and you're going to go up a little bit. because, Or unless you want to make the platform even to it. You could do that as well. And then you grab stripped jungle wood. And I go up by three where the fences are. 
right at the staircase. And then at the staircase, I go up one more. Then actually, that's not true. I go up two more. Two more than what I went up on the platform next to the fence. And then I just go on the outsides of the tree, tracing not like the main platform, I guess, but kind of around it, where the first part where it drops down. And I only do the outsides, and I go to the same height. That'll change later. And sometimes I blind and I can't see where the stuff is, but yeah. So I just go around the outside, and it makes the same shape for all the treetops. And it's a cool little shape, because I'm going to show you what you can do with it. And it looks really nice when you actually figure it out. So basically, what you need to do is, um, once you're done tracing on the outside, pretty much, and you've got it up to here, and you've got it where you want it to be, then you can start working on the inside. Now on the inside, I take jungle wood, jungle planks, and I do the exact same thing. I break blocks and kind of do like a little border thing close to the wall. I don't do the insides, which you, you can do the insides. This is just preference on detail at this point. We've got the structure down about. And as you can see right here, this leaves a nice like four blocks four blocks four blocks you get my point point. and what you can do with four blocks is you can grab the terracotta and the terracotta is makes these patterns and you'll see it once I do it but what I do with the terracotta is I make it on the floor so it looks nice and everything and this is gonna take a little while so I'll see you guys back once I finish the floor. Okay, I am back and I finished the floor and as you can see, there's like a pattern thing there, which is super cool. I love the patterns on the floor and that's basically what I use for the house. So right here, I break out this wall to one block above. We break it out. And right up here, something's off about this wall right here okay yes and right here I go four blocks high right here and cut off the roof and then I go another block high and you want to make it two blocks high around everywhere else but the wall you just cut out that wall we're gonna leave it only one block above the ground and I'll show you why later but basically, so this is what we have. And what you can do is you could bring certain blocks, certain parts of the roof, the wall, higher than others. And I really enjoy making it higher, like all these weird, like doing all these weird designs and stuff with it. Because I like it. I enjoy it and I think it looks nice. And it's just a quirky little thing to do. And I normally bring up in the back, it's normally the tallest, and in the front, like about four blocks taller than average. And you just rise it up to whatever you think looks good. I just do what I think would look semi-natural, but not like too natural, because it's clearly, clearly not a very natural thing. But look, so what you have is like a cool little design. Like right here, you have a cool design thing. And you could just mess around with what you like and everything. But that's how it looks on the outside, and that's how you kind of get the tree effect. And here we go with the, um... And here, I always put a flower pot in the window, and you could t pick whatever type of flower you would like. Um... Bam, I just picked this flower because why not? And then I pick a stained glass that kind of goes with the house. And I do it over here and I choose like a new thing to put over here. Like sometimes I do a bell, like let's just do a bell for the sake of time. 
And then I take the carpet, and you don't want to get rid of the glass like I just did. But then I take carpeting, and I make it go on top of the glass and on top of whatever I put next to it. In this case, it's the bell or the flower pot. So there. So it's basically more like a window thing, less of something you can jump out of. And then with the glass, I go to the roof, and I put... And I put the stuff, like, around it. I put it on the roof, on the ceiling. I just kind of spam it all over the place to where I like it. And if it gets too much, then I take it off. But there. So I have that. And then what you get to really experiment with is how you want the interior design to be. So normally what I'll do in a house like this, I'll take, I'll make, like, a sort of a loft thing, or I'll put the bed here. But I kind of want to do something a little bit different. We can have the bed, and I normally take a bed that kind of matches the color scheme a little bit. Maybe not exactly, maybe just like a, um, a complement color. Yeah, so you could put the beds here, and then you can make like a... um. Like a kitchen with the smoker. And what I normally do is I put the barrels instead of chests because I just I just like how they look. They kind of look like cabinets to me. So I like it. I like how they look. And I keep them that way. And what I do, sometimes I'll add like little plant designs or bookshelves or something. But what you can do, I'm going to show you how to do the plant design. So what you're going to need is like a wall of some type, a wall that looks nice, that you like and you think would fit with the house, and then just whatever leaves you want. I'm going to take jungle leaves because it matches. I don't like the prismarine wall. Never mind. Never mind. There, that that is better. And I just put it in the corners for little, little decoration. And yeah, and speaking of decoration you clearly need um decoration on the bridge which i said i was getting to but i just put lanterns on the sides and clearly it's not lighting it up because i have night vision on right now but i just put it wherever it looks n cool or necessary and then if you have a um a full block like you can full block it and then put it on the sides like over here, you can full block it here. And then and then you just wait. You just wait for it to grow. And sometimes you just want to full block it to make it look better. But the vines will eventually grow. As you could tell, they grow really long over there. But yeah, and also what's great about this is since you started on this part, you could do the same thing to this house. In this house, you can make it even bigger. But that is basically how I've been making these cool little things. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video, even though it was kind of pretty long. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Okay, bye!